400 metres around the corner, I think. 400 metres around the corner. A man is in distress and calling for assistance. Lifeguards and volunteer lifesavers search for his boat somewhere off Bondi's cliffs. There he is, I got him. The tiny boat is drifting almost a kilometre out to sea. Bondi Central to jet ski. Boys, have you located the vessel? Yeah, jet ski to Bondi Central, vessel located. Um, his motor has broken down. Um, we're just devising a plan of attack from here. OK, thanks, guys. I'll let Sir come down. The man has taken on the might of the ocean in a homemade boat no bigger than a dinghy. He's got a broken engine, but no oars and no radio. At least he has a life jacket. Well, then, just keep, keep that into the back. Ben and Mouse secure the stricken vessel before it heads further out to sea. We're just beginning the task of tying this boat back into North Bondi. The patient is on the duck. He's going to be dropped in there. Copy that, Ben. Before it takes on more water, the unconventional craft makes dry land. Ben and Mouse give the skipper a lift back to the beach. Safely ashore, Captain Anthony reveals the mystery behind his dramatic New Year voyage, which began 12 hours earlier. Right, you're only going out here from last night. Oh, I was still out. Did you go out last night? I went out last night. Where'd you go? I was um, on the beach just across from Rose Bay, got the perfect view. Perfect. On the boat? Out on the boat? Yeah, so one o'clock I was crashed out. Got up and was like, I'm going to treat myself. Brand new boat, I'm going to take it out. But what's the story behind the unusual vessel, the SS Good Times? Where'd you get the boat from? Oh, I got it off eBay. Two dollars and fifty-five cents. Two dollars and fifty-five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite right to enjoy. Yeah, uh, except for my son. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you made it back in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me yelling and screaming at the girls up in the mountains. I don't know. What oh, really? Happened. So you didn't radio? No, no. How did we get contact? My mobile was wet. I had no mobile. <laughs> um, hey, I, I just totally forgot about my flares. A trawler came to me and yeah. uh, gave me a can of Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi. <laughs> 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 Pepsi. 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 Given where he where he was when Mouse and I got to him, we couldn't see him from the beach. If his boat had sunk and he'd been floating, he's even harder to see. So, New Year's Day, tell you what. <laughs> for $2.55, Captain Anthony got much more adventure than he paid for. You need a towel, really? Um, be cold? I was learning my lesson by walking home in the cold. <laughs> Bought on eBay, engineered by YouTube. YouTube's taught me how to rebuild it all. So I didn't have to get a tape or have anyone else do it for me. It's pretty cool. Everything's there pretty much for free for you. No, no. Thank you very much, boys. Yeah, it was a pretty typical Bondi yeah. kick-off, kick-start to the year, definitely. But the New Year's madness is far from over. Beardy spots two swimmers being thrown around in the shore break. Yatesy investigates. Oh, I get more and more seaweed or what? <laughs> Getting dumped in the shore break can come at a cost. It's a bit bad that there's a bit of a bass wound or something. It's Irish, it's Irish. <laughs> it's got no idea. <laughs> oh. What have you been doing today? Uh, is this, is that, you know? this, yeah. yeah. You look like having a bit of a ball there. Yeah. yeah. You look, you look, you look, you look, you look really nice teeth. You reckon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, so how's that shore break? Bit, bit, bit weedy, eh? Yeah, that's where I got it from, you know? <laughs> this is my mate. He's from Ireland. I want... Make my Kraken. I want... Make my f- Kraken. I want to have something safe. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you do, eh? I think, I think you're money well spent. You look like having a ball. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry,
Full of nuts. All sorts. Strange behaviour and strange happenings. Bondi is full of surprises. Oh, look at that! It's a massive fish. Oh, that is a huge salmon. Caught it in his bare hands. No way. That's out of control. Chu Guan is on his first visit to Bondi from China. He was expecting to go swimming, not fishing. So my dad said when he just uh, swimming in the water and then this fish hit my, hit my dad and then my dad got it. Uh, my dad used to go fishing at home but normally no fish hit him. <laughs> One E R. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. After midday, a teenager comes to the tower and reports his friend has been injured in the skate park. <laughs> See that blue truck? Up the south end, mate. Second ramp. Go and meet them. Tell them what's going on. We've got a broken leg in this skate park. Is this where you've mashed your leg? You just relax. Just down there. Is that, is that what's happened? Not only is the patient difficult to access, the skate bowl is a heat trap. It's really hot down here. I want to get him out. Despite a suspected broken leg, Dino decides getting him out of the bowl and out of the heat is the priority. Can you move yeah. your leg? No. Huh? no. Can, you're can right. you lift it? No. I can't. What did you hit, mate? He, um, when he was, was, was riding down, he like the legs <laughs> flipped. He like, he cut, no, he like, Blake is 14 and new to the challenges of Bondi skate bowl. With a suspected broken leg, Dino gives him the green whistle, a self-administered analgesic. Just breathe normally in and out. Taste, tastes a little bit funny at first. New South Wales. Go ahead, man. Um. Guys, I want you all out of here. I'm going to move him up. Everyone get out. It's over 30 degrees in the sun. Inside the bowl, it's approaching 40. Blake, you're up, Blake? To avoid heat stroke, lifeguards need to get Blake out of the bowl first Blake. and splint his leg you're later. Right. We're going to get you in the shade. It's really hot down here, Brad. You want to do sit him up, we'll put this behind him. Yeah, yeah. Sit him up and then we'll, we'll carry him out. out. Moving Blake's broken leg without a splint will inevitably hurt. One, two, three. You're right, mate? Yep. yep. <laughs> 